Hello guys and welcome to week six of our geography learning. In today's session, it's going to be a revision session. We're going to be uh, recovering all of the uh, topics and all of the little bit of information that we've discovered this time about landscapes. So we're going to use it as a bit of a revision. And then at the end, there'll be a short quiz and a short task for you to complete. So let's get down to it. Our learning objectives for today are that we know the UK landscape is made of mountains, hills, valleys, and rivers, that we're able to describe the physical features, physical features being the key word of the UK, and that you're able to name physical features in the UK. So some vocab um, that we know, we should, there shouldn't really be any vocab that we're coming across today that is gonna surprise us or be new to us, guys. We've got cliff, hill, mountain, valley, we'll go through all those in a second. And the real key word is landscape, the landscape, the physical features that make up the United Kingdom in particular. So, pause this video, a little pause point here. What is a physical features? Can you remember any of the physical features in the UK that we have covered so far this term? So pause this video and have a little think. Well done guys, let's have a look. So, some of the physical features we have covered this term include, uh, mountains, uh, they, right at the start of the term, we covered mountains, valleys, hills as well. We've covered all of these. We've covered rivers. We've covered lots and lots of different things, guys, and we're going to go through those today. So what is a mountain? Short little pause point, pause point for you here. Uh, pause the video. Can you remember a definition for a mountain? Pause the video. Thanks, guys. Well done. If you said it was a high area of land, uh, with steep sides. You can see it in the picture there. Typically, they are usually more than 600 meters high. That is the definition for a mountain. The main difference between a mountain and a hill is usually that mountains are a lot taller, aren't they? What is a mountain? A, a Just like we said, a, a piece of land that rises high above surrounding land and uh, yeah, just that they're usually more than 600 meters high. So what are the features of a mountain? They have sharp or rounded peaks. The peak is the top of a mountain here. You can see it in all of these different pictures if you just track my mouse across. And usually they're either sharp or they're slightly rounded. Uh, they have steep or sloped sides, the sides of a mountain, these parts here. If you imagine a mountain as a triangle, the sides are exactly the same as the sides in a triangle. Um, the long bits on the, on, the, on the side, like there, we can see those. And uh, they are tall, at least 600 metres high. I've said that three times now, really trying to get that in. A mountain is 600 metres high. Repeat that back to me. Thanks, guys. So these are the highest mountains in the UK. I just want you to quickly pause this video now. Test yourself. Can you remember the name of any of the highest mountains in the UK? Thank you, guys. Um, the highest mountain in the UK, Ben Nevis, is the highest mountain in Britain. You can see it in this picture here, and it's found in Scotland. Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales, um, one of our neighbouring uh, UK countries. Sleeve Donard is the highest mountain found in North, Northern Ireland. You can see it there. Slightly more rounded peaks, particularly compared to, um, to Ben Nevis and Snowdon there. And then Scaffold Pike is the highest mountain found in England. So, pause this video. We just spoke about mountains, but what is a hill? What is a hill? Thanks guys, well done. Hills simply rise above the land, but are not as tall as mountains. And their tops are usually always rounded instead of pointed. So here you can see lots of hills here. They're, so the main difference is they're not higher than 600 meters high. Once it gets above 600 meters, then it gets into the area of being a mountain. That's the main difference. So hills are smaller than a mountain, you could say. Famous hills that we've covered this term in the UK include Box Hill, you can see in this picture here, and Leaf Hill. So areas that rise high above the land. What is a valley? Pause this video now. Can you remember what a valley is? Well done. If you said that it is a low area between hills. Here on either side, if you just track my mouse across, you can see we've got a hill here and a hill here and then in the middle there is a low area and this low area in between the two hills is what we call a valley so here's another uh, another example here they're the deep areas that are created between hills or mountains and they can be a u-shape or a v-shape so sometimes they might come down 
uh, in a nice U shape where there's a, a bit of land in between. You can see this one has actually got a river running through it, or it might be a V shape where there's very little land in between the two hills or mountains. What is a river? We covered rivers a couple of weeks ago. Pause this video and have a little think. Can you remember the definition? Well done. If you said that a river is the flow of water downhill to the sea, they start often in springs, don't they? High up in hills and mountains uh, quite often. And then they slowly, slowly merge with other rivers and streams, get larger, and they run to the sea. Here is a map of the United Kingdom showing some of the famous rivers. We covered in depth the River Thames, and you can see here, if you track my mouse across, here is the uh, start of the River Thames, and then it flows all the way through London until it gets to South End, uh, and then it flows out into the sea. Cool. Here is a picture of the River Thames, very, very close to us. You can see that rivers are really, really good um, opportunities for human features, for spotting human features as well. Humans like to use the physical landscape. Transportation down rivers uh, is very key. Uh, here you can see there's the House of Parliament, there's br bridges going across this river as well. In our last lesson, we spoke about coastlines. Now, we spoke about the UK as having a coastline all the way around it, didn't we, if we remember? If I go back, uh, to here, you can see there's a coastline all the way around where there would be beaches and such features all the way around the United Kingdom. Here is a map of China. Now, what was it that we noted about China's coastline? Pause this video and have a think. Well done. If you said that China has some coastline um, as it is surrounded by land and by sea. So you can see China has one main coastline down its east side here, but there are lots of parts of China that don't have a coastline at all. So here you can see it neighbors with uh, Nepal, with India, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Mongolia. Now, while we're on the topic of Mongolia, here's Mongolia here, if you track my mouse, this orange country here. What is it that we said about Mongolia's coastline? So I'd pause this video. Well done if you said that Mongolia does not have a coastline because it is landlocked as it is surrounded by land on all sides. So here is Mongolia here, and you can see it's completely surrounded by land. There is, there's no opportunities for you to go to the beach in Mongolia um, because it's completely surrounded by land. If you wanted to go to the beach, you'd have to travel into China, or into Russia here. So what are you gonna do today? Now, I said at the start, there is a little quiz. You're gonna find that quiz on Purple Mash where it's gonna test you on all of these elements that are in today's videos, all of the key elements. I would also like you to try and do a short piece of writing and upload that onto Purple Mash as well. And to help you, I've got some uh, sentence starters and some word bank here, a word bank here and some places. So for example, the sentence starter here, you would start by writing down mountains are, and then you would just write down a definition for mountains for me. So mountains are higher as a land, aren't they? That are usually over how many meters tall? Yeah, well done if you said 600 meters tall. The main mountains in the UK are, and look, I've even named them here with their capital letters. And you could just go through that and describe and have a short piece of writing for me all about what you have learned about, um, about landscapes in the United Kingdom in this term. If you do need to go back and watch any of the videos, if you need to go back and watch today's video as well, then of course feel free to. Um, but here is everything we have learned this term about landscapes. It's been fantastic, guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you soon, I hope.